They closed Cabrini. They closed St. Vincent's. They cannot close another hospital in this area. Marsha Goldstein is a longtime patient of Mount Sinai Beth Israel, who is outraged over the plans to close the hospital that has served the Lower East Side for more than a century. She joined dozens of ralliers Thursday, speaking out against Beth Israel's closure, which is slated for July of next year. To say, save our hospital! Save our hospital! Save our hospital! Goldstein says the hospital is the only emergency room within a mile of her home, and other closer medical facilities don't exactly provide the same emergency services. I went to City MD. They can handle certain issues, but they took look, 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 one look at my hand because I had cellulitis, and they said we can't handle it. Go to the emergency room. Giselle Molina is a nurse at a different Manhattan hospital and worries other hospitals in the borough could become even more swamped with patients. We're full. We have people in our ED waiting for beds itself. So if this closes, like we're going to be super overwhelmed. A spokesperson for Beth Israel is citing financial strain for the need to shutter the campus, saying in a statement, this decision came after over $1 billion in losses in years of debate and analysis to try and find another way forward. Unfortunately, the economics of modern health care are simply too much to overcome, and we must close the hospital or potentially put the entire system at risk. But elected officials are hoping to find funding that could potentially save the hospital. It seems that Mount Sinai has, has not explored that, and so our, my, my colleagues, we've been very frustrated that they haven't really utilized you know, our partnership. Now the State Department of Health makes the final decision regarding hospital closures. I did reach out to the Department of Health who tells me that uh, the closure plan submitted by Mount Sinai is currently under review and is not yet complete. So lots of uncertainty regarding the future of Beth Israel.